What is going on viewers of YouTube Sunspot here and I am back with you guys my birthday haul video. Feels good to be sitting here surrounded by toys in a not so much empty room anymore. Uh, basically the only things I've displayed are the things uh, to the left of me. My uh, 1 4th scale Mark 43 and the uh, 1 6th scale Mark 43. And actually what's going to go right here is what's going to be in this video, which is the Battle Damage Hot Toys Mark III from way back in the day, like 2008 status of Hot Toys. So, really excited to do that, and I know you guys can't see on camera, but uh, right here, literally in front of me, is that whole stack of, of, of that toy haul um, that I already uploaded. I'm pretty sure I uploaded now. I'm pre-recording everything. I don't know how I'll schedule everything, but uh, yeah, there was a toy haul and it's pretty damn enormous. Um, if you guys want to see pictures and stuff of it, check out my Instagram. But, yeah, uh, to my right here I do have a ton of birthday haul toys, collectibles, and especially comic books to show you guys. So I'm just going to start off with some small stuff here. Um, what I want to do is show you guys some really, really neat stuff. So these are Iron Man coasters. I actually uh, have four of them here. Uh, my sister got me two packs of these at Target, and they're freaking amazing. Um, the package said they're meant actually for the car, but, you know, you could really put them anywhere. I'm just going to put them all around my room. Um, technically, I could put two in here, two in the car, but I, I want all of them in my room. So, these were pretty damn cool. Really excited to have these. Always wanted something fancy with coasters, just because... I put, I drink a lot of soda, I obviously have an issue, I just put soda wherever and just leave stains, it's really annoying. But another cool car accessory I have here is the Iron Man decal, and it looks so cool, I can't wait to put this on my car, I'll probably show that on video, or at least take a picture of it for my Instagram and Facebook stuff, so really excited to do that, I'm, I'm curious if this is supposed to go, like, are you by law only allowed to put this on your back window I'm pretty sure you can't put it on any other window I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure it's just the back window which you know that sucks um, I do want to show off some Halloween stuff that I got before I get into the the meat of things so I want to start with this um, I'm a I'm really big on Halloween just saying I'm I've been crazy about it since I was a little kid and so every birthday it's practically tradition that uh, I get Halloween stuff, but um, I know this is corny. Just bear with me. Hey, wait a minute. <coughs> well, maybe a few minutes. Um, this is gonna look really nice in my room, uh, which is a little bit creepy. But hey, I'm I'm pimping out the entire room. You guys know that from my project display prelude video, pimping out everything with comic book stuff, geek stuff, and uh, Halloween stuff, obviously. Um, what other Halloween stuff did I get here? I could start with some pretty generic stuff here. I do have um, some green webs that I'm going to be putting up everywhere around the room, along with a black light, which I'll show. And these I've actually never tried. These are just uh, brown webbings. So they're actually really cool. I can just take it out now since I opened it to look at it. It's really cool, actually. So this is going to look really nice with all my stuff. Can't wait to do that. But what other Halloween... Oh, here we go. Let's start with this here. So, uh, this are... These are just flickering asylum lights. Let me just open this part here just to show you. Okay. Wow. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know that it was, you know, I didn't know it would stop. Didn't, I didn't know it wouldn't stop. That was really annoying for the short period of time that I showed that. Anyway, uh, what other Halloween stuff? Okay, um, this is mostly an inside joke, just between me and a few other people, but <laughs> it's just about clowns, so I just wanted, I wanted this. Judge me, if you will. Is it even focusing? But yeah. So this is just because of an inside joke. Um, you guys won't get that, but people call me the clown rapist. 
and I'm not even going to get into that now, just because the, a large portion of my audience are little kids. So, not even going to humor that. Um, this is pretty cool. This is a black light, which I'm actually going to use for uh, the green webbing, um, just to light up a portion of my room. And I don't know where I'll put this yet. I'm thinking on my desk to the left of my monitor, if not there, somewhere on my shelf, maybe even somewhere around here. Now I'm actually considering something around my TV. That would look kind of nice just because um, basically the rest of my videos of me like showing myself is going to be right here. Because I think this is a cool setup when everything's all pimped out and just the camera angle is just working really well right now, especially with the chair I'm using. And it's a hell of a lot more comfortable than that big ass chair I've been using for the rest of my videos. So, um, fortunately there's no desk right here. So for unboxings, I'll have to use my standard, you know, desk. But let's start with some non-Halloween stuff. This, if you guys are classic SpongeBob fans, yeah, this is really, really cool. I am not going to review this for obvious reasons. It's, it's, it's for a fish tank, literally. It's made for uh, aquariums. But I just thought that was really cool. But that's just the miscellaneous stuff. Um, some cool stuff that I got at, I believe it was Walmart. This is a bank. And this thing is just crazy, crazy epic. I love it so much. Um, very breakable, obviously. So I'm going to definitely have to exercise caution with this. And um, in conjunction with that, I actually did pick up this. Classic Ghostbusters, not the new uh, shitty Ghostbusters. Sorry for people that liked it. And, you know, I'm kind of being a little bit biased just because I haven't seen the movie. I, I, I don't want to. So I'm really sorry for people that didn't like, that liked it. I know I'm saying it's crap even though I didn't see it. I know that. I'm acknowledging that. But, you know, I, I don't think I can even. This I bought from a childhood. A lot of my birthday haul is just child uh, reminiscent things, so this is a bucket, by the way, a Halloween candy bucket, so um, yeah, hopefully I'm done with the miscellaneous stuff now. Um, this, and this is in relation to my toy haul video, which I'm pretty sure is going up before this, so don't even worry about that, but I finally found him, the Master Chief. Um, what I learned is that... This guy comes one per shipment, so I didn't know that, which is kind of interesting because I've been going to Target almost every single day for the last week and a half, just hoping they restock something, and the second to last day I've been there, um, I bought all the Halos I could get. I have, they're all right here, there's one, two, three, four, there's five of them, and I was only Mr. Master Chief, and then the next day um, that I went there, I thought to myself, why am I even here? They didn't restock anything, and then... But, you know, they put out another shipment, another box, and he was the only one there. So, go figure. That, that was pretty cool. Um, this is something a little bit different. I usually don't get Masterpiece Transformers accessories, but I think I just had to have this. This, um, I'll take it out in a sec. I just think it has a cool box. Um, this is a throne for Grimlock, and I can actually just take it out really quick just because um, it's not taped or anything. It's... And this is going to look so ridiculously epic. Let me just figure out how to put this. Um, there are obviously tabs um, that you put this together with, but I'm not going to do that on camera. But this is basically it. And I think it looks really, really nice. Um, only thing I'm a bit concerned with is how Grimlock is going to sit in this with his giant wings at the back. Um, I think it should be okay if I angle them okay. Um, but... You know, we'll find out. I think it should be okay. I, I honestly think it'll be fun. I'm just a bit paranoid sometimes. Um, this, um, another inside joke. I know, a lot of miscellaneous stuff, but this is a turtle card. It's pretty awesome, and there's money inside. Um, don't really think I should show the money, though. Nothing super interesting there. This, on the other hand, is not miscellaneous stuff. Um, wouldn't even call that stuff miscellaneous, it's just personal stuff, so. This is so cool. Uh, paperweight busts of Reverse Flash and um, Thomas Wayne Batman. And these are really cool. I took them out of the packaging a while back to make sure they weren't damaged, and they're not, luckily, but 
Yeah, they are very, very pretty. Really love the reverse flash. I'm kind of in my flash and Batman phase at the moment, so, you know, there you go. And you'll, you'll see why in a minute, too. I, that's, I have a reason. And I can actually show you that now. Check it out. The reverse flash from the CW Flash show. Thank you. I have been waiting for this since my sophomore year. Actually, no, my junior year in high school. And that was, like, two years ago. Two years ago. It, I've been waiting a long, long time for this guy. I know I didn't review the Multiverse Reverse Flash. That one's... Oh my god, that one's a mess. But this is this is a really, really nice figure. Great detail, great articulation. It actually looks like him, too. So, and I have the Flash, which is a similar mold. This one's definitely... It's definitely a bit different, but I know the style they're going for, and it's it's really nice. Um, another thing I can show off here is this guy to go with my Diamond Slick Carnage. I forget if I reviewed that guy. I don't think I did, but check that out. Isn't that amazing, those head sculpts, though? That is just... it is so great. Thing's amazing. You can actually take off the entire back piece with like the multiple heads. You can have them as classic Venom, which is what I think I'll do, because I want a classic Venom and a Carnage, you know, side by side. But yeah, this is it's really nice. Always love the uh, Diamond Select stuff when I can get them. Uh, what else do we have here? Let's start with these guys. So this is the Jim Lee. Superman figure. This is not the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, by the way. So, and I can actually just go ahead and open it here. Look at that. Look how cool that is. That's amazing. Really, really nice. Actually, a lot of articulation now that I'm looking at him. I wonder if, the, uh, if he could um, do the splits. I don't think he can, actually. But still a great amount of articulation. So, and obviously I needed the Batman with that, so I got this. This is the Jim Lee Batman, obviously, from the 2015 uh, Comic-Con. I can open it again to show you guys. Check that out. Epic. Really nice figures. God, I love the cape on him, too. Really nice. So... Um, this is a really collector-friendly box, it seems. I could just slide this out and put them back in, so, because I would want to open these, you know, check them out. Be, be cool. I mean, why not? I don't want to just buy them and not open them. I mean, I'd rather have them on display in the packaging, but I still want to, you know, mess around with the figure, so. Um, here, let me reach over for some stuff. This is the NECA Aliens Creature Pack. Very, very pretty. Um... From my toy haul video, as you guys know, I uh, picked up the latest series of Aliens with Vesquez, Frost, and the Albino Drone Alien. So this is just in time. I know this came out a couple months ago, but still, um, really nice. And what's cool is that um, these stasis chambers, um, they have LED lights in them. So that's just going to look really cool. Um, what else do we got here? Let's start with... oh. I forgot about this guy. I'm, again, another part of my childhood. Deadshot is and has always been um, one of my favorite villains of all time in both um, the comics, TV show, cartoons, and especially the toys. This toy was my everything as a kid, and mine, unfortunately, is not in the best shape. I mean, he didn't break, but he's really loose, and I can't really mess around with him, so I really, really wanted this to, you know, just put on my wall, know that even if my childhood figure breaks, I'll always have this guy, so that's nice. He, that's a really special figure to me, actually. Um, what I need to do is reach over here and pick up a really big package here, and that would be this, the reaction set of the Queen Alien versus Ripley in the Power Loader. Whew, that is really nice. 
Love the background too. Very, very cool. Um, I like to take the because you know it's nice to keep this in the packaging, especially since I can hang it here with this little hole. Um, so, but I do want to take it out just to mess around with it. You know, it'd be really cool. And yeah, but yeah, this is a really nice packaging too. I love the reaction figures. They put a lot of work in not only in the figures but in the packaging, which I like. But give you guys a closer look here. Very, very pretty. So, can't wait to mess around with that and put it on my wall. That would be nice. Um, some movies I want to show off. First off, we got Godzilla 1984, Return of Godzilla. Yes, one of the best Godzilla films ever made, in my opinion. Very, very cool. Um, one thing I want to ask you guys if, is if uh, you guys want me to do Blu-ray movie reviews. I'd love to. Um... I think they'd be pretty popular and ooh, in English, in Japanese with English subtitles. Okay, so it comes with the um the English dub too. Was I was just curious. But yeah, if you guys want me to do Blu-ray movie reviews, no, I'd I'd love to do that for you guys just because you know there I have a lot of Blu-rays I didn't even watch yet that I would like to watch, but haven't gotten around to it. And this one ah, my childhood. Well, okay, I cried in the middle of this movie for, you know what reason when I'm going to show you the cover. Yeah, you all cried, okay? Don't even, look at that cover though, it's nice. It's not the original uh, poster, but still very cool. I can show you the back too, just because I like the color. Very G1. And uh, yeah, this is a metal case too, so steel book, which is nice. Um, yeah, I cried in this a lot. But hey, who didn't? And uh, last Blu-ray that I picked up, or rather, that my mom picked up for me uh, for my birthday was the Captain America Civil War Steelbook Blu-ray. And wow, that cover is just really, really nice. Give you guys a closer look, because I think that cover is really nice looking. So, very cool. Can't wait to watch this. Um, haven't watched this since I saw it in theaters for the first time, because I only saw it once in theaters, um, way back in May. Damn, that was a long time ago, now that I'm really thinking about it. Um, so for some big stuff, I want to save the comic books for the last, because I want to give some shout-outs. Shout-outs! Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys the Hot Toys stuff. Um, so all of this stuff, I want to, you know establish that all of the stuff I reviewed except the Mark III. I reviewed this a long, long time ago on my channel. I'm talking over a year ago. And I put them back in the box just because I need to have something for my birthday, you know. And I kept them, so. Um, this is the Avengers, uh, the Avengers Mark VII Stealth uh, suit, so. But it's the Sideshow exclusive one too, so. And I can actually just remove this again. I reviewed this on my channel already. A pretty expensive review. Check out that box though. So yeah, I don't really need to highlight too much just because I made this uh, review already. It's on a magnet, I forgot about that. But yeah, uh, I'll show you guys him right there. Very, very, very pretty. And I love that box too, so. Very cool. Um, haven't opened him in a long time, so I'm actually thinking maybe this guy should go behind me. Now nah, that one looked nice because these guys are all red and gold, and I kind of want something red and gold right here too. So, yeah, I guess I'll stick with the Mark III. But uh, another thing I reviewed on my channel was the Hot Rod. And this was a really nice figure. A lot of, lot of repaints of the Iron Patriot, guys. So... Just a heads up, it's a really nice cover. God, where am I going to put this? I don't have space anymore. Where am I going to put this and where am I going to put its box? Because this box is actually taller and wider than, you know, a standard Hot Toys box. So those are always difficult to put away. But here I do want to show this guy a very, very, very old Hot Toys figure. But look at that box. Isn't that so cool? You can actually remove it like this. And hell yeah. Isn't that amazing? 
That's how Hot Toys should do it right now. That's how they should do it, honestly. That would be nice. And this opens like a book. I'll show you guys. So there are his accessories. Very nice stand, actually. Can't wait to mess around with that. And then there's the big guy himself. So, yeah, definitely excited for this guy. He's definitely going here. Now that I'm really looking at him, actually, he would look really, really nice. Yeah. Definitely a cool figure. Ooh, he has the uh, naked uh, naked uh, left hand like when he fought Iron Monger at the end of the movie. So, that's very cool. But, yeah, um, just need to show off the comic books now. And I've really been just cashing up on all my reading. So, here's what I bought. Um, that Rather, my sister bought, who I think very much. Um, this is... Batman The Dark Knight Returns official graphic novel with, might I add, oh god, I don't want to, those are my digital copies with codes and everything, I don't, I need those, um, with Blu-rays inside, check that out, hell yeah, who needs a Blu-ray case when you have it inside the comic book itself, that's, that's really great, so, Nikki, if you are watching this, I thank you muchly. And I'm already addicted to this book. And I'm definitely going to rewatch the movies after I'm done with my stupid geology test. Son of a bitch, that thing's pissing me off. Sorry, I get mad when I talk about school. Um, and this is something really, really special. Batman The Lawn Halloween. Check that out. Isn't that amazing for all you comic book nerds out there? I feel you. I read a few pages. Oh my god, look at this artwork, you guys. Check that out. Isn't that so cool? <sighs> Can't wait to just get through everything here. Such great artwork, too. I love the design of Catwoman. God, Catwoman looks so cool. Damn. Wow. Riddler. Everyone. So, okay. I got distracted again.